the Joe Rogan experience. You know what else? That's that vitamin series. drip that I did with Chappelle, that opened my eyes. Did I've you, never done one of those things. You've never done IV? IV uh, vitamin drip? I swear drip. by him, brother. I swear I by him. I did a bag and a half, and I was ready to run through a wall. You I know, had three hours they'll come sleep. to your house. Yeah, they'll come anywhere. Yeah. They, they came to our hotel room. Yeah, I get them at the crib all the time. Do well, you really? My, my girl's pregnant again. We have another one coming in November. And uh, for the nausea, we, we get IVs. I swear. Oh, dude. Dude. Night and day. It's amazing for like pumping you up. Not that time in tired? Vegas I had to get it. What'd you, what was well, I got, I, we had a you had a show there and like I showed up wasted I think Type of. <laughs> like the New Year's <laughs> Eve UFC I had to oh, wake up and yeah. I, had, I had to get it had oh. to get it and done, you felt so uh, much better twenty minutes twenty minutes I was good to go it was yeah, crazy it's crazy you know what's crazy to me is the UFC doesn't allow well it's you feel so good you can mask the use of performance enhancing ah, drugs fucking haters bro <laughs> God. <laughs> Speaking of performance enhancing drugs, let's talk about the cyborg situation. I knew you were going to go there. As soon as I said that, I, oh, he's going to bring up cyborg. How about that? See Dana go hard in the paint? You know what? I like when he goes hard in the paint. He's the only guy. Listen, say what you want about Dana. And I, I do like it. Like We always say, can you imagine if another commissioner did this, another owner did this? But I do like when he does spit the – because what he's saying is the truth. Like sometimes he's on one. You're like, what the fuck are you talking about? You're screwing these guys over. Then sometimes like with the cyborg thing, when you send that to me, I'm like, I agree with him 100%. Yeah, well, I love when he does that. Well, they fucked up. And they really fucked up. They when mean they tried, cyborg's team. Cyborg's team. Whoever did it, whether it's her boyfriend For or sure, whoever boyfriend. it was – that edited that video that lied and put words in his mouth is so fucking stupid. You don't think that they're going to do something about that? You're out of your goddamn mind. When they edited that video to say that whenever I'm talking in public, I'm not telling the truth, which is not what he said at all. And then they have it edit and cut right there. Well, I'll tell you this right now. Dana's too smart. Let's say he would. Let's say he thinks that. You think he would say that in a public forum to Cyborg when they're face to face like that? And you don't think you realize there's cameras around? No. He's way too smart for that. Well, so, A, that, that I'm like, well, he's not that dumb. B, that video was, you can tell it's so full of shit. Yeah. Same thing happened to me with, with me and Nate Diaz had our confrontation. I didn't right. say any of that stuff. Yeah. Someone made that all up. Yeah. Well, what also they did was they were bringing back shit that happened five years ago. Like, and Cyborg was saying she wanted an apology from me. And I don't think it was that she wanted an apology from me. I think it was her boyfriend or someone on the team. I apologized to her, me and her, no one around, face to face. And I took a photo with her afterwards. There's a photo of me and her on my Instagram. Would you see? You were just like, hey, me and my guys were goofing she around. We were drinking on fighting. She started fighting in the UFC. She hadn't fought in the UFC before. And I said, hey, I'm sorry about the jokes. I promise no more jokes. And I said, I am actually a fan of yours, and uh, I want you to succeed in the UFC, and I wish you the best of luck. I go, no hard feelings. She goes, no, those, you know, those jokes kind of hurt my feelings. And I said, I'm sorry. I go, I promise, no more jokes. I gave her a hug, and we took a picture together. And that was, uh, when was that? 2017. <clears throat> so, Here's the only time where I'm like, God damn, man, is her, her kids getting bullied at school because of the comments? I didn't that, know if she had a kid. Oh, yeah, yeah. How many kids did she have? She has one daughter, I think. In mm. like fourth grade, and she goes, because of the narrative that the UFC painted, right or wrong, I get it from the UFC side, it doesn't mean it's what right. narrative? Uh, that she's this heel, she's this monster, PEDs, right? Yeah, but that's because she tested positive. Once. We don't talk about John Jones. He's yeah, tested positive more, more than once. First of all, there's John Jones got tested positive for this tiny amount of something that probably came from a tainted supplement. She tested positive for a serious steroid and something that you you like a woman taking a steroid is different than a man taking a steroid. I'm with you. Take out female male, which is right. tough to do here. But it is there's tough. there's been people who have tested positive before where that's not their narrative. Brock Lesnar. Yeah, but it is Brock Lesnar's narrative. It's also Alistair Overeem's narrative. Is it? Yes. Was it Vitor Overeem? Belfort? Is it yes. Vitor? TRT Vitor? The UFC doesn't tell you that, well, though. You and They're I not do. marketing. The, the fans do. They're kind not of. marketing the fact that Cyborg was taking steroids. They're no, they market her into this kind of heel role, though. Where well, if you know you her, she's so? awesome. Do you think? But no, they market her as a destroyer, which she is in her career. The scary like a, destroyer, but way. also, yeah. In a good way. Look, if you look at her fights, you look at the fight with, look, the, 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 when it gets dark is when you go back to the non-testing days, like the Gina Carano fight, when she had veins coming out of her face, and she looked and like Gina a Carano, fucking murderer. This is why my, my argument for, I don't mean to interrupt you, but Gina Carano, A, the hottest 
Chica to have her fight in MMA. B fought Cyborg when she was juiced to the gills. Mm-hmm. Did pretty well. Did pretty Go well. Go back and watch. Mounted her at one point well. in time. But eventually, shout got, out to Gina Carano. Eventually got beaten down. And there's a video. There's a picture rather of Cyborg holding Gina's face and punching her. And you see the black fingernails, and her, and she's got this mean look in her face, and she's punching Gina in the face. It's like, woof. Bring it's that one shit of the, up, Jamie. You ever seen that picture? I've never seen it. Dude, it's it's one of those pictures. It was the demise. No, no, no. It's a standing photo of uh, Cyborg punching. Oh, is it that one? Uh, yeah, right says there. Right there. No, 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 no. Far no. left. Go left. Go left. Says go left. One above that. One says above friendship. that. Right there. Bam. That's Jesus the photo. Christ. But look at the black Wait, fingernails. How can she grab her face like that and punch her? Well, Jesus Christ. it's the end of the fight. I mean, she's already beaten her down. But, I mean, she's holding her face with those black fingernails and just crushing Gina's head. She beat the shit out of her. But the, De- Gina was a beast, man, and she hung in there as long as she could. But the consensus was that Cyborg was juiced up in that fight. Well, in that one, right, you mark it as Beauty and the Beast, right? That's just the way it is. Gina's a gorgeous individual. Cyborg, not so much when it comes to the the feminine, like the looks department. So you, I get that market at Beauty and the Beast. I was taught, I had uh, Kyla Harrison on. You know who that is? The mm-hmm. PFL. She's a two-time yeah. uh, gold medalist uh, jud- judoka. It's Kayla, right? Kayla Harrison, yeah. Monster. Yeah. And uh, she want, she's in the PFL, and she's in the tournament there, and she's uh, she wants to fight Cyborg. Yeah, well, there's a lot of people that are fi- wanting to fight She Cyborg definitely wants, right? That. Undefeated gold medalist. And I was talking to her about why does she, why does she think that kind of cyborg has gone down this road in her career? And then I pitched her on, you know, if I, if I'm the UFC and hear me, this might be completely fucking wrong. I don't know, but this is how I would do it, and this is what they're doing is what I think. But if I'm the UFC, as nice as a person cyborg is, there's no other girl walking this planet that looks like cyborg, really, because maybe PDs to your point. Well, there's well, a lot. Wait a minute. When you say maybe, like most likely. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah I'm trying to be cool. Problem. I'm trying to be nice. I know you're trying to there's be nice. There's a lot of girls that look like that Paige the whole, Van Zandt. That is the there's a lot of girls that look like Paige Van Zandt or Ronda right. Rousey or Misha Tate. Mm-hmm. So they're going to push those girls more because that's what people can relate to more than a girl like Cyborg. And I don't think mm. I'm saying anything no one has assumed already. And this and I, I I like Cyborg's the nice person, and I don't think Cyborg's a bad person. I think her management and the way they've handled things have completely fucked her. And no, I, I think, think her going to battle with the UFC was the worst thing, and it's not her. I don't think it's her either. And I think she is a nice person. And every time I've ever met her and interacted with her, I've and look even that last fight, and that was the thing with the Spencer fight, that, like that people were saying that oh you guys it was biased commentary. No, it wasn't. That girl survived. That girl survived See, that's not impressive the onslaught. To me. I'm, 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 you're she, the greatest commentator of all time. It was her eighth pro fight. But still, pro there's fight. some 10-8 rounds. Cyborg beat the fuck out of her, yeah. dude. That yeah. fight wasn't close. No, no, no. It wasn't close. But the narrative was how tough she was. I'm like, yeah. Cyborg's beating the rag doll on this girl. And she cut Cyborg's face wide open. Too. One With one elbow. Yes. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? But she got still, beat up the rest of the fight. There's 10-8 the rounds. The idea was that she was going to run through that girl. And she didn't. That girl was tough as shit. Wasn't, it wasn't, wasn't a competitive fight. Well, she doesn't have striking. That was no. on the level of it doesn't have power to keep cyborg off her she just does cyborg lit her up like a christmas tree she like did. that though there was 10 8 rounds and i was like oh that fight's not even close no it's not close. i feel you guys because it's the john jones things when you go into a fight it's like when john doesn't destroy someone you're talking about the other guy yeah and with cyborg too you expect just to murk well this tiago girl. santos was way closer i mean that was a way closer fight tiago santos was a one point he won fight. some rounds well it was a split decision for sure. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. I mean, some one judge thought that Tiago won the fight. I yeah. don't agree with that judge, no. but that's how close that fight was. There was no one that thought that Spencer won that fight after it was over, but it was amazing that she was able to endure the fucking beating that Cyborg put on her. It was incredible. Yeah, she's a tough girl. Not it in the same league. Not, no, not in the same it was, league. It was a, one of those fights where it really... Like, no one's clamoring for that fight in the first place. No. Who was asking for that fight? Not me. Other than her? The, the, yeah. 